It is Tuesday, February 15th in the NBA, and I'm back with my three best picks of the day. Yo, what's going on, everyone? This is Austin from Call on Our Shot. Let's do a recap from yesterday, and it was a four-in-one day. So close to bringing out the brooms. But man, we were just, DeJounte Murray lets us down, but DeMar DeRozan, Fred Van Vliet, Julius Randle, and our added play, CJ McCollum, all get the job done, moving us to 12 and three over the past four days and moving us over the 30 unit mark on the season. And in just the month of February, we are 39 and 19, up nearly 15 units. So hopefully we've been helping you guys make some money. If you are new to the call on our shop channel, we appreciate you for coming and watching the video. If you wanna hit, go down below, hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. To all the OGs out there, click that like button too. But speaking of some subscribing. You guys killed it yesterday. You passed 24,000 subscribers. Insane. I appreciate all you guys' love. And as usual, we're doing a subscriber parlay, so I'll put it up on the screen. Here it is. If it cashes, we're giving away $500 to 10 random subscribers. One of these days, we're going to hit one of these bad boys. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on it. Maybe you can win $500, give out over $5,000. It's got a chance. I'll break down each of the likes at the end of the video. Now let's get back into it. The real reason we are here it's because of the COS All-Stars. Now look, if I helped you make some money, consider giving some of it back to become a COS All-Star. It costs less than $3 a month. You get a couple cool added perks. Plus you get the plays an hour early. One of the plays is definitely going to change lines. As we always see some line movement, what are you waiting for? Go down below, click this join button on the channel, or click the link in the description. Become a COS All-Star. It costs less than $3 a month. And I know there's people out there that place more than that on a stupid parlay that's got no chance of hitting. Heck, I'm probably one of them that placed $15 on this parlay today. You know, you are, you know who you are out there, but I appreciate all the newest all-stars. Definitely going to pronounce some of these names wrong. But James, Luis, Chico, Jefe, Nepets, MW, Vostro, Brian, Ethan, Jason, Stealth Shots, Parker, Taylor, Troy, Wheezy, Teak, 2K, Plug, 23, Champ, Adonis, Nicholas, Mason, Leonardo, Bernardo, NFC West Champs, Drew, Daniel, KD and Kyrie, good thing you didn't have Harden in there. Sawandi and I'm Chosen 100. You guys are the real MVPs. There's a lot of you guys that keep joining. I think we're about 10 to 15 All-Stars away from 200. So I'd really appreciate it if you go down below, click that join button and become an All-Star today. Look. We can't do it without those people. So go do it. Let's see if we can hit 200 today. Hopefully we've been helping you guys out as always. Now let's get into the best bet of the day, which is on a 43 and 21 run over the past two months. And it is a guy that needs no introduction. Darius Garland over 19 and a half points, minus 125 on DraftKings. Now look, I posted this play early for the All-Stars, which is one of the added perks an hour early before the video goes live. They also got the parlay, which hopefully that hits too. But look, I don't mind this line at 20 and a half. It was 19 and a half when I went to bed. Moving up towards 20 and a half, perfectly fine with me. Now Garland, like Van Vliet yesterday, this line's too disrespectful. This is a guy that's averaging over 20 points per game on the season, and he's been pretty hot of late. Despite being injured, he's still played pretty well, and he's taken on the Cav or taking on the Atlanta Hawks, a team that we know they don't really defend opposing guards all too well. <laughs> Trey Young doesn't play defense, but look, you, I would love to give you some Garland. You know how does he perform against the Hawks? But he hasn't played them this year. He's actually been out both games this season. But we did see Ricky Rubio drop 23 points versus Atlanta earlier this season, and since returning from from injury, Garland been pretty special. 27 points in both games, and look. You'll see him in the parlay as well. Now, over his last 10 games, he's at the over in eight of them. One game he finished with 19 points, another game he just shot terribly from the field, which happens. Now, last game against Philadelphia, Rajon Rondo didn't play a single minute. I think that's pretty telling of the rotation that we're going to see from Bicker staff and the Cavaliers coaching staff. Now, look, they're, they're going to play Jared, they're going to play Darius Garland. He's going to start with Darius. Jared Allen, Evan Mobley, Isaac Okora, and probably Dean Wade. They're going to bring off the bench Karis LeVert, Chetty Osmond, and Kevin Love. Those are the three guys coming off the bench. Now, maybe we'll see Rondo or Brandon Goodwin, but those are likely the eight guys, and Garland's going to have to carry the offense. I mean, he's the alpha dog here, and he's the one that's going to have to facilitate and score for this team. Look at the last couple games, 18, 15, and 23 field goal attempts, plus this over-under is 221 points, which is very high for a Cavaliers game. We know the, we know this Cavs team has struggles to score the ball, and they're not getting near 221 or 221 combined unless one the Hawks score 140 of it or two we see Garland at least scoring 25 ish points and I think that's what we'll see out of Darius Garland today should be able to score at will against this Trey Young led defense and with you know they'll have Trey Young Kevin Herter Bogdan Bogdanovich now those guys can guard Darius Garland should have a pretty good game today so we'll be riding this Garland the first time all-star to hit over 19 and a half points 20 and a half perfectly fine with me let's move on to another play I like Carl Anthony Towns over 41 and a half PRAs minus 103 on Barstool now I have several betting 101 videos on the channel that walk through my process of how I find the lines, what what the pro, like, the research process looks like, and I'll link that video at the end of the video at the end of the on the at the end of the video. But this season I've had a new I've added a new method, and what is that? I wake up, 
I see, oh, the Hornets are playing. I'll just take the center's PRA line against them because that's been a free money glitch all season long. Worked out last game with Steven Adams. Worked out the previous game with Isaiah Stewart. Hopefully it works out with Carl Anthony Towns today. Now look, he's taking on the Hornets, obviously. This line's high. But it's high for a reason. The books don't make high lines like this this high because they don't think the guy has a chance of hitting it. No, they're a little concerned. And they should be concerned because Cat can easily get this done. Now, Chicago, he did hit this over for Chicago two games ago with 43 PRAs. Only had like seven, six, seven rebounds in that game. I think he should get more rebounds today against the Hornets. Now, you look at the last game. He was in foul trouble. The refs had something out to get him on Super Bowl Sunday. Like, they were calling a ton of fouls. And then he was getting hacked on the offensive side. And they were calling nothing. It was a frustrating game for Cat. So had 31 PRAs. Only play 22 minutes as opposed to playing 34 to 38 ish minutes and look Nas Reed his backup came in at 18 PRAs in 23 minutes the, the Timberwolves play a very short rotation we see a lot of cats today against the Hornets who have allowed the most points per game and the most rebounds per game to opposing centers all season long it's not a typo we obviously know cat is a very capable passer as well that's why he'll be in the parlay as well now look they added Montrose Harrell you know what I don't care that they added Montrose Harrell his defense is fouling Mason Plumlee is basically Ben Simmons at the center position he's afraid to shoot a layup even if it's completely wide open cat shouldn't have to play a ton of defense he'll just have to be maybe contesting some Montrose Harrell plus you'll see these two teams play back in November Remember, Cat had 25.7 rebounds and 6 assists for 38 PRAs in just 31 minutes. The Timberwolves did lose that game by about 18 points. It should be a closer game. The over-under is sitting at over the, all the way at 244 points. Now look, I don't now you look at that game previously when you saw Cat have 38 PRAs in 31 minutes. He probably would have hit this if it was normal situation, but P.J. Washington was the only center available for this Hornets team. And P.J. Washington, obviously a guy that can stretch the four and shoot threes. I think he shot five for seven in that game from the three-point line. Now we saw that's not going to happen today as Plumlee and Montrose Harrell are going to play big-time minutes. Plumlee played 30 minutes. Harrell played 29 in their last game against the Grizzlies, and they found good success with that. Now look, Steven Adams just had 30 PRAs in only 16 minutes against this against this Hornets team. And Jaron Jackson chips in, chipped in 10 rebounds himself. I love the matchup. Like I said, over under 244 points. There's going to be a lot of points, a lot of rebounds, and a lot of assists to go for for all these guys. I'll be riding with Mr. Cat. I think he can get it done. Let's see if the money glitch continues to hold true this season. Now before I get into my next play, I like to do a break in the videos and give you guys a spread pick lean. And then I'll, I, you guys know I hate betting spreads in the NBA. They're not my specialty. I love betting player props. And so I'm not going to count this towards my record win or loss. Yesterday I gave out an absolute L of the Raptors minus four and a half. So hopefully this one's a little bit closer. Bucks minus 11 and a half. They've always been the Pacers kryptonite. I don't care if you're traded. Tyrese Hall or Sabonis away for Halliburton. I don't care. The Bucks just lost. But as a double-digit favor outright by the Blazers, not even being close. I think they bounce back today. But like I said, not going to count that towards my official record. I don't trust the spreads at all, especially with only three days before the All-Star break. Now, moving on to my final play and how this video is going to go. We're going to talk about this final play. Then we're going to talk about the parlay. Then we're going to talk about three other leans that I really like, just don't have lines for. Jason Tatum, over seven and a half rebounds, minus 113 on FanDuel. Now, look, in one of the bigger matchups, we got Tatum and the Celtics taking on Embiid and the Sixers. It's going to be one of the biggest matchups to watch tonight. And Tim Tatum average averaging 8.4 rebounds per game. So if he just hits his average, which is eight, which is even below his average, we cash his bet. Now, rebounds can be a little bit fluky, but over the last seven games, he's had 10, 6, 5, 9, 9, 12, and 8 rebounds. Hitting this over in five of those seven games, I love the matchup here. Now, we talk about the Sixers team. Without James Harden, this offense is going to run, and it probably will continue with James Harden active. It's going to run 100% through Joel, Joel Embiid, and rightfully so. This guy's the MVP front runner, basically, and there's no reason to do it. Now, we'll see not to do that. Now, we look, Robert Williams will likely guard uh, Mr. Embiid. Al Horford will be focusing a lot of attention on him. Might not even play a ton of minutes today. Maybe guards Tobias Harris. And we'll see Mr. Jason Tatum a guard Matisse Thibel. And that's exactly what we want today. Now, I love Matisse, and he's a great defender. He's one of the best defenders in the league. And he'll bet, I bet he matches up on Jason Tatum, plays a big role today. But look, he does nothing on the offensive end. He gets out of the way, and he just goes and sits in the corner opposite of Embiid. He says, you know what, I won't mess with you. And that's exactly what we want today. I mean, no offense to him, he just doesn't attempt a lot of shots. We've seen his last five games, four, seven, two, four, and three shot attempts. Case closed. This guy's not going to be aggressive on the offensive end. Hence why they'll hide Tatum on him and just make Tatum grab be on the weak side and grab a ton of rebounds. We did this exact same thing with Luka Doncic versus the Sixers. 13 rebounds for him. We look at it last game, Darius Baisley, 
same kind of situation. He had 15 rebounds. This this 76ers team over the last 15 games have allowed the second most rebounds per game to opposing power forwards, which technically Tatum starts at the small forward position, but it's going to play defense like the power forward. Al Horford is going to be focused on Joel Embiid as well. If you look at Tatum's game log versus Philadelphia, supports this analysis. 11, 9, and 16 rebounds this season against the Sixers. Should be able to get us 7.5 rebounds and probably 10 plus because that's going to move us right into our parlay, the 24K parlay. Like I said, if we're, if this hits, we're giving away $500 to 10 random subscribers. So make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button. Now, here's one leg. This is the 10 rebound. That's the 10 plus rebounds for Tatum. Look, he's already hit this in two of three games for Philadelphia. 10 plus rebounds, not asking for a lot from a guy that averages 8.4. You obviously, know, per game, you obviously know the Sixers give up a ton of rebounds to opposing power forwards. Now the next leg, this is the one that's really juicing it up. Carl Anthony Towns over plus 3,000. 3,700 odds for a triple-double. Now look, I've seen crazier things. I've seen people that get triple-doubles that probably have no business getting a triple-double. Kyle Kuzma got a triple-double. Julius Randle just got a triple-double yesterday, although we kind of called that one. But look, this game is over-under is 244 points. Cat did have a triple-double back on January 30th. He did have eight-plus assists back on in two of his last three games. Like I said, this over-under is 244. There could be assists going to everyone. You'd never really know. And I think Cat is a capable passer. He's a willing passer. And all the guys have to do is knock down their shots. I don't. I think this value at plus 3,700 is much better than it should be. And I think he's got a chance of getting it done. Now, look, it's a long shot for a reason. The last leg of the parlay, Darius Garland, 30-plus points. It's a long shot. He's at 27 points his last two games. And you look at it, the Cavs scored only 105 and 93 points in both those games. Their over-under team total is 110 and a half. They're not getting close to that if we don't see either. Kevin Love dropping like a 30-piece, or we see Darius Garland having 30-ish points. And I think he hits his normal over, 30-plus points, like plus 500, plus 520 odds. I love the value. So if this parlay hits, you see the ridiculous odds. But if it does hit, we're going to hit one of these. I promise you, I'll give away $500 to 10 random subscribers. So make sure you go down below, click that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Now let's... To end this video, let's talk about a couple other leans that we don't have lines on. Now, as always, be sure to check the pinned comment down below. That'll officially tell you what line I'm going with because, heck, I might not even play any of these depending on the lines we get. But the first one, CJ McCollum over in PRAs. Now, yesterday we took this bet, easy cash. It, and it was a blowout. He only played like 31 minutes, cashed it in the fourth quarter. Now, today's game, I think it will be a little bit closer against Memphis. And McCollum's three games with the New Orleans Pelicans. His usage rate has been ridiculous. He's at 32, 51, and 27 PRAs. The PR, the 27, he shot six for 21 from the field. And I think his line will be roughly 30 and a half. That's what I'm hoping for. If it's 30 and a half, we'll be taking it. Now, last game, he shot nine for 13 from the field. Very efficient night. The 13 were the most field goal attempts on this Pelicans team against the Raptors. The next closest was Jonas Valanciunas with nine. So I think he'll continue to do it, and I don't think Ingram's going to get 11 rebounds again. Maybe we see some more Ingram or rebounds come CJ McCollum's way. I think he can get it done. We'll wait for his line to see exactly what it is. Now the next one, Bam out of bio points plus rebounds. Now the Heat are taking on the Mavericks today. The Mavs have not been very good at defending opposing big men all season long. Out of bio, been very aggressive recently, shooting the ball a ton. Tyler Hero also is out, a guy that takes a bunch of potential shots away away from out of bio and plus Jimmy Butler might be out as well now these two teams played earlier this season Bam had 22 points and 13 rebounds that should clear whatever line he gets today I might be to add in this one we'll see exactly how we feel now the last one I think will be a popular play praying this one doesn't get juiced too much Clint Capella over in rebounds now with John Collins sideline with an injury the Hawks are going to have to rely on Clint Capella to play even more minutes than they already have Onyeka Okungwu their first round pick from last year will play good minutes but look they're going to start Capella with Danilo Gallinari and that's perfect because last game they did the same thing against the Celtics Clint Capella 17 rebounds in 31 minutes today's matchup will involve a lot of Capella as he has to match up against this Cavaliers team which notoriously starts Jared Allen and Evan Mobley like they're going to need his size out there we saw this team in this identical scenario earlier back in January where the Hawks were without John Collins we saw Clint Capella have 23 rebounds so I love it today he played 40 minutes much more than he will play probably today but still I think he's got a good chance now that'll end the video a couple of the guys I looked at Joel Embiid PRAs the Melo Ball assist Kelly Oubre five plus threes might be worth a dart throw and Tyrese Halliburton over an assist but either way those are the three official plays we got Tatum we obviously got Darius Garland and we got Carl Anthony Towns we appreciate it if you want to become a COS all-star go hit that join button down below say a prayer in the comments for that, that parlay to hit and like I said man it's gonna be a good day let's hope we can continue this run we appreciate you all for tuning in it's been a long video but it's been Austin I'll catch you guys in the next one peace